Okay, I'm going to tie a sparkle leech, an egg sucking sparkle leech. And into the vise, I placed a size 6, must add, R74 hook, onto which, I, onto which I have slid a hot orange cone. I'm going to attach the black 8 dot tying thread behind the bead, pull down on the thread, and snap forward to break it away, save you using your scissors. And cover that hook shank with tying thread so we have good traction for our materials. Go about halfway up and let the thread hang. I've taken three strands of UV crystal flash, bound them down at about the midpoint of the shank, and then sweep all of the fibers back over, doubling themselves, and secure them into the position trailing along the back of the shank. I'm going to trim them at staggered lengths so they shimmer throughout the marabou tail. That's prepared. I'm going to carry my tying thread up behind the bead. And I'm going to take a black marabou plume and off the one side I'm just going to strip down and fold the plumes onto themselves like such. Let's make one big long plume off the side. I want the tail to be nice and long, so I've got a measure for the tail to be at least the hook shank and up to the bead. I trim the marabou, tie it in directly behind the bead to keep a nice smooth body contour. With open turns, bind that marabou all the way down the hook shake. I have a long flowing tail. Blend in. Moisten that to keep it all together. And for the body, we're just simply going to use some crystal chenille in black. I'm going to use my thumb and forefinger to expose the thread core, bind that in place right down at the base of the tail and then quickly carry my thread with open turns right the way up to that bead. Now I'm just going to wind the body, tight wraps using my left thumb and forefinger to sweep those crystal chenille fibers. You can even take the crystal chenille and spin it a few times like that to make those individual fibers stand out even more. This gets in the water, it catches light really well, provides a great silhouette. The rookies can hone in on it. Tie that off. Trim away the excess. Finally, just take our whip finisher. Number of wraps directly behind, and apply some head cement later on when they're all done. And there you have it, a simple egg-sucking sparkle leech.